We recently featured a 2011 997.2 GT3 RS that was a one of five in paint to sample guards red and a one of one in guards red with the DZL special order black contrast. Some debate ensued given that guards red is a standard color on nearly every 911 ever produced. So what made this particular car special? In this world of collectability and discussions of rarity, how do we make sense of the word when everything is claimed to be rare? The term has become ubiquitous thanks to the perpetual overuse by purveyors of collectible automobiles. Corvette rare is a term that I've coined to describe the notion that a mass-produced car is somehow special because it's one of a certain number in that color with a certain option package produced in a certain model year that got nitrogen in the tires instead of air and was delivered at the museum. Corvette owners are the worst, most obvious offenders, hence the term. However, Porsche owners may be in danger of exhibiting this stereotype as paint to sample has become nearly a commonplace option in order to sound more exclusive, American owners are now pronouncing colors in Deutsch. Gelbgren, Blau, Rot, Schwartz. You know what Schwartz is? Black. The color code is the same as the dang steak sauce. A1. Black is the new black, it's the old black, and no matter how you pronounce it, it's one of the most common colors on modern Porsches. It's the second most common and least desirable color for resale on a 997.1 GT3 RS, but on a 997.2 GT3 RS, it's a paint-to-sample color. Which leads us to our original question. Is a paint-to-sample 997 GT3 RS truly rare, or is it Corvette rare? To answer this question, let's look at overall production. Over 1.7 million Corvettes have been made. A 1953 Corvette is actually rare. Only 300 were made. A 2020 Corvette is not rare no matter how you shake it. 20,000 were made, and lots more 2022s and 2023s will be made, and none will be more special than the previous year. Couldn't we also say that no 911 is rare because they produced over a million of them? We could. But as it is fair to say that a Z06 is not a standard Corvette, a GT3 is not a standard 911, nor is it simply a limited or special edition of one, it is a completely different car. And all Porsches with the RS moniker were made in limited enough production in overall worldwide units to be considered rare, at least until the 991 came along. So then, let's look at colors. There was no paint to sample available on the 996 GT3 RS or the 997.1 GT3 RS. None. Not an option, no matter who you were. The 997.2, therefore, is the only modern manual gearbox RS with paint to sample, and it comprises about 7% of North American production, or 4% of 997 production if you count both generations, for a total of 46 cars. That's it. 46 997 RS in paint to sample on this continent. With the 991 RS, they blew the production floodgates open by a factor of three. Not only that, but paint to sample comprises more than 10% of production, so you're looking at upwards of 300 paint to sample 991s compared to less than 1,100 total 997s. That's right, there's almost a third as many rare color 991s as there were total 997s for the GT3 RS. Now, Guards Red, despite being the silver of the 80s, is actually a rare color on 996, 997, and 991 generation cars, in contrast with black. For example, Guards Red comprised 4% of 997 turbos, compared to black at over 25%. Just 19 Guards Red GT2s were made out of the 242 total for North America. So the color itself, despite being a common color of past generations, is quite a rare sight on modern Porsches. And most paint-to-sample colors are in the same boat. They are the popular colors of yesterday, phased out, which are now the unique colors of today. Porsche plays some fun games across models as well. A car that in the same year as a free color on a Cayenne might be a paint to sample on a GT3, or in the case of orange, it was a standard color on a 997.1 GT3 RS, but a paint to sample color on other models, at least until it was discontinued in 2011 and replaced with pastel orange. But I digress. So what's the point? 
For something to be rare, it's not just about the one of one in a particular spec, as anyone can pull that off. It's about the derivative, the one of one of X. Is it a rare version of something already rare and desirable? Or is it only rare because of some nuance that makes it rare relative to its common siblings, hence our earlier Corvette example? Or to use Porsche people as an example, how many one of ones are there? With the 997 GT3 RS, there can only be 46, but practically everybody and their brother has a one of one 991 GT3 or RS. Second, how many derivatives does it take to get to one of one? For our subject in question, the Guards Red GT3 RS, it is a one of one of five red of 46 paint to sample of 615 total. That's three derivatives, and there can only be 46 possible one of ones. So it's got a pretty good rarity score. We'll use my Pride and Joy Corvette as a counterexample because my Corvette is best Corvette. It is a one of one light carmine red convertible produced in 1998, which happens to be the only year they made that color for the convertible, of course, with a light oak interior, a manual transmission, and a Lingenfelter 383 stroker motor. So how's my rarity score? Let's extrapolate it out. It's a one of one of light carmine red of who knows how many with that interior of 20% with manual transmission of 513 convertibles in that color of 1,495 C5s in that color in 98, of 1,876 C5s in that color total, of 217,911 C5s overall. So seven derivatives and innumerable possibilities for one of one because Corvette rare. So there you have it. It's not the first number, it's the last number, and how many jumps it takes to get from a one of one to that final number, and how many others there could be. In the case of our RS, it's one of a possible 46 others, and it only takes three jumps to get from one of one to one of a small overall total of 615 in comparison with the 991 RS, which is almost common enough to be called Corvette rare. I'm probably not going to make a lot of friends with this analogy, but let's be honest, I don't ever shop at New Balance or the Porsche Design Store, so I think I'm safe from my detractors. <laughs>